Hey, it's me, Destin. Welcome back to Smarter Every Day. We're gonna try something new. This is a walk up and think about it and don't edit the video type video. I'm at the Air Force Armament Museum and I wanna talk about grid fins on the back of Moab, the massive ordnance air blast, or as a lot of people have come to call it, the mother of all bombs. If you wanna read more about Moab, you can just screen capture this right now and read that at your own leisure. But we're gonna talk about these grid fins down here. Let's go think about this. Okay. Number one, why do you have things like this on the back of flying stuff anyway? The, the goal here is to direct where this thing is pointing and where it's going, right? Well, grid fins can do that and wings can also do that. And the reason that works is because you're pulling the center of pressure back behind the center of gravity of the flying body. Once you do that, you can kind of control where it points. Okay, that's number one. Number two, the cool thing about grid fins is that they can fold down tight. If they fold down tight next to your your air body itself, then I don't know, it's more compact. Can you imagine folding a wing up? Like imagine folding this wing up on the side. What does that wing do anyway? I don't know, we're talking about grid fins. Okay, next thing about grid fins. Let's go in here and look at all this surface area. The ultimate goal of these things is to steer this device to the target. And you do that with an actuator here. If you were to add up the surface area inside this potato masher, and add it all up and create a wing right here of an equivalent size, that'd be a pretty big wing. But if you think about it, from the center of this grid fin to the most extreme edges here, that's a pretty small moment arm. So it doesn't take a lot of torque to command a lot of control surface area. Hello, truck. Does that make sense? Doesn't take a lot of torque to control a lot of control surface area. On a wing, if you had a huge wing out here, you would have to have a huge moment arm to control the distance on that wing, the whole distance. So the torque required to be a lot bigger. Therefore, you can have much more compact guidance actuators on devices that have grid fins. So why doesn't everybody use grid fins all the time? Well, one reason is you can't go super fast with them. If you go transonic or supersonic with a grid fin, what's gonna happen is all that air is gonna try to ram in here at the same time, and it's gonna bunch up because you have a lot more pressure here. Then you're gonna get a separation and during transonic flow or supersonic flow, you get this bow wave or the shock wave out front and you lose all control authority inside the, the grid fin because you get this big, I don't know, it's like a bubble and the air goes around it. Anyway, that's grid fins. Americans don't use them that much. Russians use them all the time. I think that's interesting. I don't know why. This has been a, let's walk up with a GoPro and talk about something kind of video. I'm sure I messed something up. If I did, go ahead and straighten me out in the comments. I'm Destin, you're getting smarter every day. Do you like this style of video? Walk up and think about things? Not, I don't know. It's not that I'm an authority on stuff, I just like to think about it. Anyway, I'm Destin, you're getting smarter every day. Have a good one.